Hi guys, those of you who watch all of my videos, or some of them anyway, might remember I made a spring powered car using this spring that I made myself. And it was actually much too powerful for the car. So I used a different spring eventually and it worked fine. I'm going to have another go with this spring, but instead of using it, stretching it, which I think is tension, I'm going to try twisting it instead, which I think is torsion. Don't quote me on them, because I'm doing that from memory, I'd have to look it up. So instead of stretching it, I'm going to wrap it round that cross member, attach an arm to that bit sticking up and use it, as I say, in torsion mode instead and see how it gets on. That's wound the spring onto the cross member. I've also, I don't know if it's visible, pushed one side of the spring into the chassis there so it holds it still. So now we need to extend this and use a bicycle spoke here, that's the lever arm, and I'm going to use this electrical connecting block to join the two together. There we are, that's joined it together. It's a bit like a mouse trap really. Making good use of these wheels that I made for one of the recent projects. I think this is about the fourth car I've used them on in the last four episodes. Anyway, they're just normal CDs with bottle caps for the hubs in the middle, barbecue skewer for the axle. I've just glued another little bit of barbecue skewer on the end there to attach the string to. So I'll get some string and we can go and test it. Test run time. Attach our string to the hook. Wind it up. And we'll let it go. Right, let's see if we can get it through the doorway. Well, there we go, nine metres. Summary time. What have we got? We've got one of my old chassis from one of my old cars. Um, it's made from plastic conduit. Got four wheels, CD wheels with bottle tops as the hubs and barbecue skewers for the axles. But the important thing in this car is that we've got this spring that I made from some wire, coiled it round a bit of dowel to make it into a spring. I made it originally to use it in tension mode and it was far too powerful for the car. I'll put a link to the project where I made it and I put it to one side and forgot about it and then the other day it occurred to me why don't I try using it in torsion mode, twisting it instead of stretching it, rather like you see in an ordinary mouse trap. And it works quite well that way. It gives up its strength in a much more uniform, gentle motion. 
and drives my car quite successfully. Quite pleased with that.